Hi everyone, thanks for clicking. In this video, we're going to be tackling an interesting question. Why do private jets have a higher service ceiling than commercial airliners? Or simply, why do private jets fly higher? So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So there are actually four fundamental reasons behind their secret of private jets being able to fly and cruise at high altitudes. And the first one is being the uh, lower bypass ratio turbofan engines. Turbofan engines are usually described in terms of the bypass ratio. A bypass ratio is the ratio between the mass flow of air bypassing the core of the engine and flowing around it to the mass of flow of air entering the core of the engine through the uh, compressors and the turbines. And turbofan engines, there are two types, low uh, bypass ratio and high bypass ratio. The uh, commercial airliners, Boeing and Airbus, they have a high bypass uh, ratio turbofans, meaning most of the thrust of the thrust being produced by the engine is actually the bypass air around the uh, core of the engine, and it's not the mass of air that goes through the compressors, combustion, uh, and the uh, exhaust. That only comes to about. 20 to 25 percent where the remaining 75 percent is basically just air being pushed into the engine by the uh, front fan or also known as the n1 fan and bypassed the core and accelerated around the core and just comes out of the uh, back of the engine simply it however this this kind of engines they are efficient at high altitudes as well but at a certain uh, extent for example the maximum um, uh, altitude they can fly up to and maintain uh, level flight is nothing more than 430 or flight level 450 at most however if we compare the high bypass turbofan engines to a low bypass ratio engine here where it comes the uh, the magic as low bypass engines have a higher uh, efficiency and capability in thin air and of course as you know the higher we climb the higher we go in um, space the lesser the dense of air becomes so the first fundamental reason is lower bypass ratio turbofan engines. So basically low bypass ratio engines are more efficient in thin air due to the fact that most of the thrust produced comes from the air charge that is compressed, rushed through the turbines and exhausted uh, backwards which gives us the uh, forward force. Uh, thus allowing private jets to fly at higher altitude without being thrust limited due to the low air density. This is the reason number one all right as for the second reason or reason number two is better power to weight ratio what does that mean well basically if we compare the thrust produced to the weight of the aircraft we will find that private jets have a higher power to weight ratio compared to airliners meaning that the aircraft will have a much higher excess thrust and excess thrust is what allows the airplane to climb and the higher the excess thrust the faster we climb I mean higher rate of climb obviously as well as the ability to achieve higher altitudes so for example let's make that a bit simpler private jets have low bypass engines as we previ previously discussed in the first point however their weight is much lower that means the engines can produce a lot of thrust yet with lesser weight so the higher the thrust and the lesser the weight the larger the gap between the thrust available and the thrust required. So that's what this gap is what we refer to as excess thrust. And the higher this excess thrust, the higher the rate of climb, the higher we can maintain uh, level flight at high altitudes. All right, the next reason is higher differential pressure. So what is a differential pressure? Differential pressure is the pressure difference between the cabin pressure and the outside atmospheric pressure. Since the aircraft is pressurized, that's obviously what makes us uh, breathe 
inside the cabin at high altitudes, there is a difference between the inside of the aircraft and the outside because the higher we go, the lower the pressure is. So airliners usually operate at around 8 psi of uh, pressure differential, which gives it around 8,000 uh, feet of cabin altitude. That means when you are traveling at 41,000 feet, 36,000 feet, roughly the cabin altitude or your body would feel like it's on 8,000 feet elevation. So that's the pressure that the fuselage can withstand safely because any higher than around plus or minus 8 psi there will be some stress, some serious stress on the fuselage and the body of the aircraft as a whole. So smaller airplanes, however, such as the private jets, tend to operate at a higher pressure differential, about 9 to 10 psi, as it is easier to pressurize a small cabin than a large one. I think it makes sense. So differential pressure is also key in determining the service ceiling of airplanes, because sometimes the engines can't produce enough thrust at a certain altitude, However, flying at that altitude would exercise stress on the body of the airplane and in this case the pressure differential becomes a limiting factor for how high a plane can cruise. So the higher the uh, pressure differential, the higher the cabin can climb to. Alright, last but not least, larger wings compared to their size. So that this is also another factor which is the surface wings of the, these private jets for their cabin size. They are designed for multiple purposes such as the ability to use shorter runways making them take off and land from almost any airport around the globe. So therefore private jets have a slower stalling speed for their weight compared to airliners. And this is also a key as the maximum Mach operating or the limiting for the high speed buffet and VLS, which is the lower selecting or selected speed, let's call it let's call it stalling speed now for now, is larger. So this gap between uh, the slow flight and the high speed uh, buffet is large. So the higher we climb, these two keeps on uh, the gap keeps on decreasing, and the altitude at which the VLS or the stalling speed crosses the MMO, the maximum operating Mach number, that's called the absolute ceiling or the coffin corner. That's the maximum uh, altitude. So, all right, coffin corner or absolute ceiling is the altitude at which if we fly any faster at a certain speed, we will enter the high speed buffet and we will stall. If we slow down, we will stall. So it is that altitude, that critical altitude, at which we can only maintain level flight and a certain airspeed. So that's a limiting uh, factor as well for uh, how high airplanes can go. And as you can see uh, in front of you guys here, this uh, PFD from a private jet, it's cruising currently at flight level 510 or 51,000 feet. And yet on the left here, you can see it's cruising at only 190 indicated. However, it's actually cruising at uh, Mach 0.82 up there, as you can see. But the indicated airspeed is 190. And you see that bar, red bar, at 200 knots that's the high speed buffet limit or MMO and just below uh, 160 knots or about 155 knots that's VLS or stalling speed let's call it uh, stalling speed for now you see the gap is much higher as if we look at another PFD for example for like a typical airliner that would not be the case for example look at here and as you can see on the left, it's flying currently at flight level 370 or 37,000 feet, and it's indicating at 259 knots indicated. However, if you see the high speed buffer and the low speed uh, margin, it's relatively lower or shorter compared to the one on the right 
for the private jet which is currently crossing at 510 so this is one big um, factor and, and the key in determining the ceiling of the aircraft so even though the indicated airspeed is higher to 59 compared to 190 however look at the uh, Mach number the, the one on the right, the private jet, it's cruising at Mach 0.82, which is 82% of the speed of sound. However, the uh, 737, it's flying lower at 370 and achieving a Mach number of 0.79 only, or 79% of the speed of sound. All right, just to recap real quick, we have four fundamental reasons on why private jets tend to have a much higher service ceiling. We've discussed the first one uh, was being the fact that private jets are equipped with lower bypass ratio turbofan engines. Number two was better power to weight ratio. That means the uh, thrust produced by the uh, the engines are much higher than what it is required because of the weight. And number three is higher differential pressure as it is easier to pressurize um, a smaller cabin than. Uh, a larger one and last but not least larger wings compared to their size where basically the design of the wings um, was to achieve low takeoff and landing distances uh, a much greater volume to um, have a lot of fuel for uh, range and as well as uh, to lower the uh, stalling speed and to increase the uh, MMO so these are the most four fundamental reasons and if you guys have any uh, reason that i might have missed please make sure to uh, put it down in the comment below and i'll be more than uh, happy to discuss uh, anything with you guys in the comments and now let's look at the advantages of uh, flying at high altitudes well um, there are a few advantages such as less traffic of course, at high altitudes, not many planes can achieve uh, fi uh, flight levels uh, 50 and 510 and above. So less traffic, resulting in more direct routes. Also avoiding most weather. Uh, for example, the uh, topopause might not be that high, so we can uh, fly even higher than top uh, the topopause and then avoiding uh, thunderstorms, CBs and all that. Fuel efficient fuel efficiency the lower the fuel uh, the more fuel efficient the engines because like I said lower bypass ratio are more fuel efficient and high altitude and thin air that means lower fuel cost for the airline and last but not least higher ground speed so if we encounter or we can use uh, the uh, jet stream uh, we are gonna have a higher ground speed thus reaching our destinations um, in no time so I hope this uh, video was helpful for you guys. Now we understand why private jets have uh, a ha much higher service ceilings. If you have any questions, please make sure to keep them in the comments below. And uh, until next time, fly safe. See ya.